Hakan, great news that you've uh, decided to stay on, and uh, Terry as well. How delighted are you to be continuing this yeah, role? Immensely proud, like I said previously, to be managing Dali Jamalik Football Club. <clears throat> Obviously, it took a, a longer process than normal to agree things with the board members, but we were virtually on the same page. You know, we've been humbled and, and, and like overjoyed, really, with all the support we've had since we've been here. You know, for me personally, you know, people keep telling me why have I come to Dulwich. Well, Dulwich is a fantastic football club with um, with some genuine, genuine people here that really want to do well for the football club. Obviously, it's about levels. We're at a level now that we haven't been at for a long time. Me and Terry, we took a took a decision that we thought was the right thing for us, um, and we want to continue to work in conjunction with what the board wants to, to get this fantastic football club back up. Levels being levels, we know that we need to work hard, we need to maximise the potential here and, and push on. And we're going to be here for one reason and one reason only, is to try and get the team promoted and do our utmost to do that. It seems like an obvious question to ask, given you're just what you've just said there. The ambitions for next season is to go straight back up, for I guess. For sure. I mean, the, every team that starts off at this juncture, they're going to have the same ambition, no different to us. But for us, you know, we've got a bit of a, a bone stuck in our throat. We need to clear it. You know, we came in at the end. You know, last season wasn't a good season for me. You know, we, obviously I've lost my mother. And during that period, I missed a couple of games, which isn't ideal. But, you know, we've made the decision it was the right thing to do for us for us and let's make no mistake now Dulwich Hamlet has got fantastic support big support and I think they deserve deserve to be back up where they belong and and hopefully if we can do that we can push on again recruitment's going to be the key wherever I've gone I've always tried to recruit the right way you know it's going to be tough love along the way which is normal a manager has to do that sometimes but along that way if we can galvanise a spirit and a togetherness that we've done wherever we've been then I'm sure we're going to have a good season. You know, we, we, we left Maystone on 21 points um, and we were pleased with what we had there. And we came here at the back end of the season and got a relatively good amount of points. And we didn't go down by points, we went down by goals. And if we only were here a couple of weeks before, things may have been different. But we owe it to the supporters to make sure that we show unity, strength, togetherness collectively on and off the pitch to show that there's going to be a difference to try and get back where we belong. There's going to be a complete change in culturally how we're going to do things. I will determine who and how we're going to do it. But the most important thing is that together with the board, we're united in what we want to do. And that's to do the best that we possibly can for these fantastic supporters. You mentioned the complete change in culture. Does that include a, a clean break from last year's playing squad for the most part? Well, no manager goes out to try and put a, a, a squad together that's not going to be successful. Every manager tries to do the best that they possibly can. You know, wherever I've been, I've tried to do that. Wherever I've worked with Terry, I've tried to do that. And we have, nine times out of ten, been successful. I've also been at teams where we've been relegated, but I was never there at the start of the season. So I understand both ends of the of the spectrum. I understand what it takes and what it doesn't take. But I can assure you this, we will be here for one reason and one reason only. People are not going to be slacking here. We're going to be working very, very hard to bring success to this football club. And yes, I believe it's time for a clean sweep. And the majority of the squad that we had last season, obviously some have decided to make their own social media activities and said what they were going to do, but that's up to them. We, we will probably have a clean sweep and, and start afresh and only keep the ones that we want to keep. And the preparations are going really well for that start of pre-season. Well, yeah, because it was such a long process, drawn out process. You know, today's been actively very busy. I've been working behind the scenes if I was going to sign and stay, which was always the case. And I gave my word to the board that I'd be doing that. We have done that. But, you know, we're going to have to make sure that the mentality has to be different this year. We're not going to be the whipping boys. We're not going to be a team that's going to be accepting second best. We're not going to be a football club that's going to accept that. We want to wear the shirt with pride. We want to wear the shirt with dignity. And we want to make sure that when we cross that white line, we give everything to the supporters. We'll be recruiting players based on what we believe will help us achieve success. And unfortunately, last season, 
We had a squad of personalities and characters that didn't deliver that for one reason or another. And it's not no one's fault entirely. But when you do that, sometimes you have to have a look and say, what can we do to change it? I think now it's time for a change. And it's obviously going to be a hell of a season ahead. It's going to be a difficult season ahead, no doubt. What messages have you got to the fans who are going to be along with us for the ride? <clears throat> the fans, since I've been here, have been fantastic. If anyone knows me in the way that I try and do things, I incorporate everything with the club. And I say this since, with, with, with all sincerity. The team is just not the team on the pitch. The team is the people behind the scenes working hard every day, like yourself, the office staff, the logistics staff, the grounds, and the supporters. So when we win, we win collectively. And that's the message that I'm going to be giving them. Get behind the team. I'll produce a team, I'll get a team together that will do them proud and we will wear the shirt with integrity, honesty and discipline and we will work as hard as we can to get success. And that's the only way. I don't know any other way apart from that and that's the way we're going to do it. The most important thing is that they, um, they can rest assured now that me and my team will be working very, very hard to bring success here.